this this 350 here fixing to put together it's a, a low budget build somebody might find it interesting what it is is a 1990 L98 tune port injected 350 out of a Z28 Camaro or Trans Am. Never seen the car, but that's what the numbers come back to. It's a two bolt block, more than sufficient for all but the baddest of motherfuckers. That block is thick. Despite being a two bolt block, look at that. Look at the meat right there. This block's 40 over. And a lot of your blocks right here be paper fucking thin. Thin ass blocks. And this one's got some meat. So this is actually a good thick block. Yeah, I'm gonna use these fucking stock main caps. Then we're gonna swap out the bolts only because I'm gonna use a windage tray. I'm gonna use a GM windage tray some extra holes drilled in it so I'm gonna pull the studs out of another block I have to swap out in here so I can use that tray but otherwise ain't a damn thing wrong with them fucking bolts people fucking discount the two bolt three old three fifties is junk throwaway shit. It's a six thirty eight block nineteen ninety one piece rear main seal. But yeah these fuckers are far from junk. This is pretty damn good block. And for the horsepower level it's going to be at, it'll survive just fucking fine. Which I'm planning on, if this engine don't make 500 horse, give or take 10, then I'll eat 5 pounds of dog shit. Because I know it will. Parts combination going into this thing. But it's low buck as hell. So it's a 90 model L98 350. And I'm going to use the, there's the 90 model L98 350 crankshaft. It's been turned. 1010 polished it's gonna go right back in there that crank will take more shit than shake a fucking stick at so I'm gonna use that crank this is a project I started like back in 2017 or so and it got sidelined and but started getting rusty on me. Had a lot of fucking money in machine work. So figured I better do something with this motherfucker. So I just gathered up shit I have laying around my garage. This is the intake I'm gonna use on it. 
CC runner heads. They've been cleaned up. The casting flash taken out of them. They've been bowl ported. They've got a competition valve job done. And they've had about 20,000 milled off of them. I think they're about 60, 61. 60 to 61 cc chambers. Got old school manly guide plates, manly studs, 7 sixteenths. Got manly valves. Those are Lenati springs and retainers and locks and seats and all that shit. I think they're comp cam seals. These heads, they flow the mid 280s on the intake side. And just over 200 on the exhaust. up a little the external opening is the same but all the flash and shit's been taken out of them they've been smoothed out so with the two valve relief flat top pistons that are going in this fucker There'll be about 10 in the hole with a 26 thick head gasket. So it'll have a pretty good quench. All this rotating assembly was balanced together years ago. And those are fucking Speed Pro pistons. Those are the blueprint heads going on it. Those are some pretty gnarly springs there for roller shit. And this big tub here, this is for all the small shit. collection of fucking parts to put this engine together. Individually, 
just to get exactly what I need. Highly recommend these. You oil pump stud. ERP. Keep that fucking oil pump from coming loose. You got these crank bolts here. You can get these fuckers on eBay for like nine bucks. They seem to be well made and got an extra thick head. So, it's a good deal. Got your basic bitch tannin pointer, which I like to find my true top dead center and get everything set up and then mark this fucker and then chop it off into a point where it just points at the mark. I use a dial back time and light and it just makes it simplified. This is an LT1 oil pump, but I'm, I'm not going to use it as it was. There's the fucking T bolts. There's your old filter adapter. This shit will nickel and dime you to fucking death. Tell me about all this little bullshit. Fucking spark plugs and them bastards. Forty goddamn dollars. Went ahead and got the the melling. It's a H or M fifty five HB. Made in USA. It's a good one. There's my old pickup for the seven quart pan going on it. Got a SA double roller timing chain for late model block. It's a gear. Got your gold cad plated fucking based on the old school small block Chevy time and chain covers. These fuckers are pretty thick. Well made. Here we got your Harlan Sharp roller rockers and stud girdle poly locks. Hastings Molly rings. King bearings. A big fucking Lenati roller cam. Studs and shit for these are valve cover for a big block, but I'm actually gonna use them for time and chain cover. These are for an oil pan for a small block. I like studs. Have a lot better. Just make shit go together much easier. And you got your oil pump drive shaft. I highly recommend these. This is a milling. It's got the fucking steel collar on it. Instead of that plastic bullshit. 15, 20 bucks, get you one of these. It's money well spent. Get your valve cover gaskets. Those are cork because I'm probably going to use some stamped aluminum Moroso valve covers on this engine, and cork seems to work better with them. Six intake gaskets. And we got you. I highly recommend these 
these hand gaskets. Your, your mom. There's your part number, 5746. These fuckers are like. 26 thick, 104.125 bore, so they'll you know, gain some compression by using them. But this is just a few. The oil pan is in the mail, and the oil pan, I use a one piece bell pro oil pan gasket rubber fuckers and I, ain't, um, I have black paint and orange paint but I'm pretty fucking bored with that shit I want to paint a new cast gray or something something different I used to paint them that color and it always looked pretty cool this is a factory roller cam block it's a basic fucking 1990 Camaro 350 L98 they were factory rated at about 245 horse and seemed like 330, 340 pounds of torque it wasn't much but put them on an actual dyno, they made more power than that. But this one's going to make considerably more power. Because this, this fat Lenati roller cam and these fucking worked over fucking heads. And this fucking Victor Jr. intake. And the compression should come in right under 11 to 1. Maybe 11 to 1, actually. But it'll work on pump gas nonetheless. So this is just going to be a rowdy little throw together. Shit I got laying around. But it's an easy low buck. Till 475, 500 horse fucking engine. And I wouldn't be afraid to turn this on, bitch. I've had these things spinning 6,500, 7,000 RPM hundreds and hundreds of fucking times. And I built claimer engines for dirt trackers and shit. And be amazed what some of them guys are getting away with. The fucking RPMs they turning with the fucking parts they're using, but they had to be built as cheap as fucking possible. These fucking heads here are literally out fucking identical to the Pro One darts. They even have where you can drill and tap it out to the stall header flange pattern just like the darts these are pretty well made these are BPEs from a few years back they were on a drag car but I put all new springs and shit in them wasn't no need in replacing the valves and all that because they ain't they ain't very old and they ain't had very much use on them. So, these fuckers are pretty much ready to rock and roll. That old timey fucking metal brock intake put that motherfucker to use. Probably put a two inch spacer on it and a, I don't know. 750 800 double pumper holly be what goes on it this 
this engine could make 500 horse pretty fucking easy actually I mean people think that's a lot but really with today's shit it ain't nothing there's NHRA stock eliminator 295 horse 350s with cast iron intakes and quarter jets and shit putting out fucking 500 plus horsepower so Imagine what those engines would do with no rules. So you learn the tricks. And incorporate it into your shit. I mean, there's a million tricks to this shit. Many books have been written on the subject of making horsepower. take a long fucking time to try to explain it all but there's many ways to skin a fucking cat so to speak there's many ways to accomplish the same goals many paths to get to the same destination so you know this ain't this is just one way to do it it's not for everybody, and most of my engines, I spend a little more money in the bottom end and shit, but like I said, I already had all this rotating assembly, it's already balanced and ready to assemble, so I figure I better do something with it before it gets bucked up. want a strong running this is a 40 over 350 so 357 358 whatever the fuck you want to call it but if you want a strong running 350 small block Chevy just fucking follow this basic recipe and you'll be very pleased with the results this is a street engine. This is something you can get in and go fuck around in. Running on 93 octane fuel. Take it out and impress your buddies and shit. And scare the shit out of people. Or run it. But here's my latest. This is just going to be a quickie build here. So I already all the parts I just gotta make myself put this fucking thing together there you go 357 cubes coming right up 